So I'm at Vandeveer. The front door is behind me. Transom window above, nice craftsman style door. Okay, so the front door is behind me. To your right, you have a dining room. They do have it staged. Nice big windows. You've got laminate flooring almost throughout the whole home. The entryway is, it does have a vaulted ceiling. And then to the left, you have an office space. It does not have do doors on it, but you could easily finish that in. And again, nice big windows to the front. Okay. They do have the home staged. So you're going to see some furniture in here to kind of give you an idea. Um, this is the open floor plan. So you've got a kitchen here with your eat-in kitchen back in the corner there. Dining room. Or sorry, living room, what am I saying? And then you have another little space here that you could use for a play area or um, another little sitting area. Your master bedroom and bathroom are on this side of the home. And then in this direction, you've got your access to, well, the dining room, garage and laundry room, and then this hallway here is your other bedrooms. So we're going to take you through on the master bedroom side first. So everything's been completely remodeled. They did do like a knockdown texture on the ceiling so you don't have any more popcorn. And that is a king size bed so you can see how spacious the room is. Let me take you from the corner here so you can kind of see. So then your master bathroom, you've got tile flooring, granite countertops, his and her sinks. You've got a front closet there, your shower stall, and then another closet that's, it's a bigger closet than the front closet here. I'll show you in a second. And you do have a window to the front here. But it's spacious nonetheless. Toilet. So you've got a little then a closet. Okay, so front door is through there. That's the hallway to the other bedrooms. Now keep in mind there are no window coverings at all on these windows. Um, so you can, I don't know if you can hear or not, um, you can hear the traffic outside, um, but like I said, there's no window coverings at all throughout here. Here's some more of the kitchen. Wine fridge, granite countertops, we've got a lot of counter space, which is really nice. Here's sink. So it does look like even the countertops, the cabinets and everything are all brand new. Oops. I have not tightened that in yet. So everything's brand new. And then we were talking about how you open up this cabinet. So you can kind of see that this has already gotten a little bit of a ding here because it's it doesn't catch, but you do just have to make sure you Push it in. There's a close up on the backsplash. And they did a really nice job with all the fixtures and colors and everything.
Then you've got the pantry. Nice big size. It's actually open to the top to get some light in there. Tile flooring. Okay. So here is that hallway. So your dining room is obviously right there. That is to the front door into the office and then to the rest of the living area there. So we're going to take a left. You've got your laundry room with that same um, tile that's in your bathroom. You have a lot of space here for it's it could easily fit your washer dryer plus a little bit of like maybe like a counter or a cabinet right there. And I know we were talking about this guy. I think you could probably wall it off, so, you know, put a cabinet or some kind of something around it a little bit because you do have so much space right here. The light in the garage isn't working, but it's your standard garage. You do have a little bit of extra space here in the front and you do have pull down, oops, pull down attic stairs. There we go. And then that is the boards for your windows for hurricanes. There you go. All right. So behind me is the kitchen and living area. You have a front bedroom here, another side bedroom, a bathroom, and then a bedroom again. But I am going to back up a minute so I can show you your HVAC system. All right, so your front bedroom, it's pretty spacious. Again, new carpet. And they retextured the ceiling. And you've got a pretty good sized closet here. And then the view out this window is that car, the car pad there. And then your thermostat's over here. Okay, side bedroom. This is the smallest bedroom, but it's still probably, I'd say 11 by 11. Again, the same view there of the car pad. And then this one has a walk-in closet. Okay, the bathroom. A little medicine cabinet. Okay. And then the back bedroom. It's also a really good size. And then you've got a walk-in closet as well. So let's head outside. We're a pretty good sized backyard. It's huge back patio. And they don't have a lot of um, landscaping and stuff and that would definitely help. Here's that side area. Now I'm sure this car pad is actually well, a lot wider than it looks, so I'm sure it's covered up a lot by the um, pine straw and such.
This outdoor unit looks actually pretty new. And the roof looks pretty new, at least it looks in good shape anyway. Fire pit. On the other side here. Take you back inside to the front. Okay. So a nice covered patio here. Landscaping is super cute. Nice, looks like it's Bermuda grass. Nice big trees. Kids could easily play in the front here as well. And that little side drive is right there. And there you go, that's Vanderveer.